sorting of rows and columns both. In this video, we will see how can we arrange the values available in rows either in ascending or descending order. At the same time, we would also learn how to arrange the columns alphabetically either in ascending or in descending order. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So today we will see, we have a sample data, we would have a sample data which looks something like this. If you can notice, the column names are not arranged alphabetically. So this is what we are going to arrange in either ascending or descending order. After arranging that, that would look something like this. Let's look at the column names. Like you can see over here, it's C and after that it comes Q. But if you see after arranging them, C, after that it comes D. So this is how we can arrange the columns. Similarly, we will see how can we arrange the values available in columns. So if you notice these three columns, these values have been arranged in alphabetically and numerically ascending orders. Like if you look at city columns, so it's quite clear that the values are not arranged. But here, if you see the values have been arranged, depending on this, quantity have also been arranged and then date have also been arranged. Here we have our data set mart. Let's have a look at this mart2. And if you see this, like the data is not arranged. Now let's see how can we arrange the values available in city column. So let's try to do that. For that, you're going to say data frame dot sort values. And in the parenthesis of operator, you need to pass a parameter which is named as pi and for that you need to provide a column name that column name i want to use city basis on that i want to sort it so like you can see the city value have been arranged now it comes to quantity we also want to arrange quantity but before that we want to arrange date so after city for each of the city we want to keep date in a sequence so that you can include over here next variable we want to sort is date so like you can see for this particular if you see all the date values are not in one sequence because that those are based on city column so for same value in city the dates will be arranged like if i have to explain you look at this here the date is 5th of jan but here if you see it's 24th of feb why is that so? Because the dates are based on city. For this particular city, the first transaction happened on 24th of February. But for this particular city, the first transaction happened on 5th of Jan. So, but alphabetically when city is arranged, this city name comes first and then this city name comes. So this is, this is why dates have been arranged in this sequence basis on the city variable hope this is clear in case of any doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section let's put the another variable which is quantity select this and hit the run selection button now if you see quantity have also been arranged over here so this is how you can sort the values of rows basis on their column names using column names and as many columns as you want you can include over here now let's see how can we arrange the column names so here we have city name st uh, which starts with c and then we have q and then we have d while in alphabetic order d comes before q so let's see how can we do that mart2 dot here we need to say sort index And in the bracket, we just need to specify axis equals to 1. Axis 1 represents to the columns, which we will learn in the subsequent videos more. So like you can just click this and now if you notice, 
the column names have also been arranged like city, date, quantity and unit price. This was in ascending order. If you want to arrange that in descending order, that is very simple. You just need to pass the ascending parameter over here. And by default, it is set to true that you need to make false. Once that is done, you can run this. And now you can see first unit, unit price comes first, then quantity, then data, sorry, date and then city. Same thing you can do while sorting the values or row values as well, right? Let's try that. Now, you, if you can see, the city name has been changed. Previously, this city was at the top. Now, this city has, are at the top. And then quantity and dates are arranged accordingly. So, this is how you can use the sort values and sort index function to sort the data in rows and columns. I just hope that you enjoyed this video just in case of any doubt. Do not forget to put that into the comment section. We will definitely get back to you. Thank you very much for watching.